welcome back to another lip balm review. This one I probably should have gotten around to last year and didn't. So doing it anyway, even though I probably shouldn't. It is the Lip Smacker Strawberry Scoop with SPF 24. And why I say I shouldn't, it expired in October, <laughs> but I'm doing it anyway. Uh, because my belief is that as these are synthetic, the expiration date is talking about the SPF, which I don't believe the SPF becomes dangerous after it expires. If it does, I don't think it would that close to it. It's only a few months off, so I'm like, yeah, screw it, I'm just gonna do it. So, whatevs, doing this. So, anyway, this is from a collection they did that actually had SPF in all of them. I think there was like either eight or ten total. I never got all of them. I tried to get a hold of the set, but it was always sold out until it was expired, and I was like, I'm not gonna pay that much for a set that's already expired, so if they re-release it with, like, better dates on it that are newer, maybe. But, unless they do that, yeah, no. <laughs> anyway, so, format-wise, it's a stick. Packaging-wise, it's really cute. Um, it was very colorful. It's got the sun there. I'm guessing that's the SPF. I think this is supposed to be a ski. I'm not positive. Um, <laughs> maybe it's a wave. Maybe it's like, a, a surfboard on a wave. I, I'm not entirely sure what this is. It might just be abstract. I don't really know. But I, I'm going to say that it's a ski of some sort. And that this is for skiing, even though it probably isn't. But you totally could use it while you're skiing. I'm babbling. I don't care. Uh, anyway, uh, these are not natural or organic. They are synthetic. And they were limited edition. These came out a couple of years ago, and they were still selling them straight on up through, like, the end of the year last year, even after the date passed on them. So, I don't know. Maybe they're gonna do more releases of these, but with newer expiration dates. That is my hope. Because the, the flavors did look really interesting. I could just never find the damn set, so... There was that. But anyway, so, the amount of product you get, I'm pretty sure I do know. Yeah, it's 14 ounces. Teensy little bit less than a standard stick amount, but it's standard for Lip Smacker. Um, and the shelf life, I already told you, it expired in October 2016. Whoops! Uh, <laughs> you know, just almost half a year expired. Whatevs! Don't depend on the SPF to be good, because it probably won't help you. But it probably won't hurt you either just to use it as a lip balm. But if you want for its SPF protection, d don't depend on it once it's past the date. It's not as effective. It might not be worthless per se, but it, it won't be as effective. It, it denigrates quickly. So anyway, price point on these really depended where you found them. But I found that usually these actually cost more than regular lip smackers, probably because of that SPF. They were about a dollar more everywhere that I saw them sold individually. <clears throat> Excuse me. But, um, yeah, it was weird. That was also why I never got the set. Um, it's just price point of what people wanted for them after they were already expired. I was like, yeah, fuck that. I'm not paying that. So, like I said, if they bump up the expiration dates on them, we'll talk. Otherwise, no go. But, yeah. So, anyway. Sturdiness-wise, let's see. Nice hard tube, lip smackers usually are. The cap, I'm not so trusting of. This is a very flimsy cap, even by lip smacker standards. This, I don't know, it feels thinner than they usually do, and it bends more, so I'm like, I don't trust that. Uh, it clicks into place, but it also comes off very easy, so I'm not sure that I would even trust this to not come off in a bag, because between how soft that is, and when it bends, it, it releases the seal. Therefore, it just, I don't know, I don't trust that cap one bit. And then the wheel, at least it is not a wiggly turn wheel, it has that going for it, but, you know, the cap is kind of a bigger problem here. So, special features is, again, the SPF, the 24, but at this point, it's not going to help you because it's expired. But if it weren't expired, it'd be really cool. It isn't medicated apart from the SPF, so we're going to get on to the scent. So, strawberry scoop. I'm imagining it's gonna smell like strawberry ice cream. That literally just smells like the regular strawberry. I am disappointed right now. <laughs> not gonna lie, I, I was expecting something more from this one. It's not bad, it's just nothing new. 
It's that same artificial strawberry scent you find freaking everywhere. It smells like the strawberry Revo, it smells like the regular strawberry lip smacker, it smells like every generic strawberry lip balm you have ever smelled in your life is what this smells like. Again, not bad, unless you dislike strawberry, but nothing earth-shattering. You do not need to go out of your way for this one. But I will try it on, and I will swatch on my hand, because being this dark, it might have some color payoff. It has tiny little flush pink. A little bit. Not much, but not enough to where I think it would show on your lips. But let's try some on. Whoa, okay, so the consistency is way softer in this. Holy shit. That's like almost Carmex level soft. Holy crap. I don't know if that's because of the SPF or something, or if these just were much softer. But, wow. That's almost like jelly, it's so soft. So I'm hoping that that's not a sign of the spoilage or something. Because lip smackers are usually not that soft. Holy crap. But that's it. It doesn't feel bad. Um, the taste on it, even though this is probably a terrible idea for me to even be swallowing it. Um, oh, it's familiar. What is that? Oh, it's another one that tastes like that, um, that Safeway brand generic strawberry soda I grew up with. It tastes just like that. So I don't think I agree with strawberry scoop. I think this could be strawberry soda. I, I would agree with that. And the consistency, it's pretty thin, um, but it's really, really slick and slippery. Like, to the point where I feel like it's going off the edges of my lips. <laughs> so I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, I don't quite trust this one. I bet it probably would moisturize, but I don't think I'm going to leave it on long enough to find out, in all honesty, with this one, because I'm having some very iffy feelings about it, just saying. But it's very, very greasy. This is almost like liquid lip smacker level. Shine factor, though. It's very shiny. It's got that going for it. I like a shine, but this, uh, other than that, I don't know how I feel about that. Longevity-wise, I, I don't see this lasting long. For how slippery this is and just the, the general softness of it, I, I don't see this staying on a particularly long time. Just gonna be frank with you. So, because I don't really want to ingest too much of something that has an expired ingredient in it, I am not going to try the drink test. So, I, I honestly don't see this passing it anyway. So I'm just gonna throw that out there. So my overall rating on this one, um... I don't know. I dock at a point for not having anything new and groundbreaking scent-wise when the name kind of implied it would be different than just a straight-up plain strawberry. I dock at a point for the cap. I dock at a point for the iffy way that it feels and generally soft that it is. Um, I think those are my main issues against it. Maybe even... Hmm. Am I gonna count this? I'm not going to count the expiration, because that's on me, so I, I can't dock them for that, but um, I, I can, however, dock them for, I just, I don't see this being a long-lasting one, and lip smackers sometimes can have a very long-lasting effect, so, you know, the ones that don't stay on that long don't impress me very much, so actually, you know, I'm, I think I'm going to go 6.5 out of 10 on this one, um, since I couldn't test it quite accurately, because I don't trust an expired product. So, I mean, I'm only going to dock at half a point for that last one, uh, but I honestly do not believe it would have passed the drink test anyway. So, I'm, I'm giving it the benefit of the doubt by letting it have that half of a point, but I'm also docking at half of a point. So, 6.5 out of 10. Uh, I'd say that if they re-release this newer, you, you could try it if you want to, if you just like that plain strawberry scent, but if you're expecting something more than just that scent, this one's totally skippable. Very skippable. So, anyway, that is all I have to say on this one. So, as usual, if you like this video, click the like button. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Leave comments down below. Do you have this one? What did you think of it? Did, did you find it to be weirdly soft for a lip smacker? Let me know down in the comments, as well as anything else, if you like leaving me. And until next time, bye!